When you're buying a car, more often than not, you're expected to haggle. Bargaining for a better deal, well, it's just part of the process. But just maybe you'd be better off taking the bargaining skill you use here and using it everywhere else as well. When it comes to expensive things like appliances, furniture, jewelry, even a trip to the doctor, most people just pay the sticker price, no questions asked. But according to a recent survey by Consumer Reports, bargaining works in lots of places. Over a three-year period, 94% of people who tried negotiated a better deal on furniture. 93% got a medical bill reduced, and 92% got a lower price on consumer electronics. How do you become a master haggler? One way is to consider timing. When new models come out, after big sale periods, when what you want is out of season. Next, you need the right person. Don't waste your breath on a salesperson with no power to lower the price. Find a decision maker first. And try to find the right product. Look for something slightly imperfect, scratched, or dented. Explain how hideous it is, then try to buy it cheap. And don't forget competition. Use your internet access as leverage. Find a lower price online, take it to a local retailer, see if maybe they'll match the price or at least come close. If you're shopping anywhere that takes credit cards, paying cash saves the store 2 to 4%. Ask for that cash discount. Bottom line, negotiating doesn't just work with cars. If you really want lower prices, ask for them. For DivorceU.com, I'm Stacy Johnson.